What up? This your boy El Ambitious, host of You Can't Sit With Us Radio. Shout out to my co-host Q. We just want you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. It is greatly appreciated. But back to your regular scheduled programming. Aware, take it away. Hey yo, you listening to Aware? Uh, motherfuck the foes, motherfuck the friends. Either you be fam or you never share. Yeah, I can't forget, but I can't forget till the end of road. Grow from boys to men, dripping from a cloud. Wet from head to feet, looking for the torch, smoking Halloween. I don't give a fuck what you telling me. People always talk, I just let them. And you tuned in to You Can't Sit With Us Radio. Well, up in this bitch. Threshold Brace Productions. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of You Can't Sit With Us Radio featuring myself, Ellen Bishop, and Q. What's up, Q, man? How you been? What's going down? I'm feeling cool. I'm feeling good trying to trying to get my mic set up. Okay, I'm good. I'm good, man. How you feeling? I've been good. It's been a little while since we did our last episode, though. Yeah, I know. We've been. We've been off. How yeah. long has it been? Like a month? About a month, yeah. yeah. You know, I had to go to, you know, I had to go to Colorado, do my little interview out there. So. I was... It was pretty good, yeah. I need to I need to get the audio files. I can post that mud on the YouTube page pretty soon, so people didn't get to listen. So yeah, man, it's been a while, man. I need to make my way back out to Denver. Yeah, it's fun out there. I went to the Nuggets game too. It blew them. It blew the Suns out though. Well, I mean, anybody spit blew the Suns out. <laughs> if you ain't blowing the Suns out, you gotta reevaluate your game plan because it's not working. Yeah, then they because they beat uh they beat Golden State that Monday. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, they beat they the only team to beat Golden State so far. Denver? Nuggets, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah. I didn't even see that. Yeah, yeah, I didn't see that. It was a good game though. Yeah, yeah, we back at it though, man. Um, we're gonna be releasing an, I guess a new interview up until Christmas. So every week we'll be releasing something new. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But like always, we got we keep the dopest guests on the show, and today is like no other. We got D and K on the show. Originally from uh, Jacksonville, Florida, now here in Nashville, Tennessee. What's up, man? How you doing? What's up, man? How you doing? I'm good. <laughs> How's your day going so far in the morning? Man, I'm tired. I'm tired as hell, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, long night or something? Yeah, ready to book, man. I just, uh, I stay up all night all the time trying to get to this, mm-hmm. trying to make this happen, so yeah, yeah. just yeah. tired from that. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Man, so how you, uh, so how you get your name, uh, DNK? Man, everybody in high school just kept calling me that nigga Kiel, and I just was like, my name is just just Kiel, man. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not that nigga Kiel, but <laughs> it it stuck, so I just went with it, shortened it up, called it DNK. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but that's probably shouldn't change so real soon. Are you gonna change? <laughs> yeah, man, because okay. I've been I've been dealing with these uh. These outlets like iTunes, Spotify, mm-hmm. YouTube, and like a lot of people are named DNK. So. <laughs> hey, you the first person I know is DNK. I ain't heard nobody else. Really? Yeah, man, go look up, go type it in Google. <laughs> I, I need to. I will. I will. I'm about to type it right now. I will. And like, this is not who I'm looking for. I <laughs> I've never heard nobody. That's the only person I know. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess because it's I told you three letters. That's what it is. I guess because it's only three letters. Maybe that's why it's just simple. Yeah. But everybody, I'm sure everybody else has. Oh damn, it's an Urban Dictionary too. Oh yeah, so <laughs> your name could mean do not know. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can Urban Everybody Dictionary knows. do not know. <laughs> hey, I will ride with that, bro. That might be cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. that's the next album right there. Sorry. I appreciate that. Uh, the, the the cover art is gonna be the Urban Dictionary page of DNK. That's gonna be the cover art. I'm calling it right now. I need I'll make sure you get your royalties all the way for that junk because I'm calling it. Right now. <laughs> yeah, I need, I need all of that. A feature, some. You rap? <laughs> yeah. I well, I DJ now, but I can rap. I do rapping. Okay, uh, okay, but DJing is first, and mm-hmm. you know I rap. I always get features and all that stuff. So okay, okay, yeah, 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 I do it. Yeah. Well, so what made you move um, from Florida to here? My mom's divorce. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, and then I thought I was gonna get to go back at some point. That never happened. <laughs> Why not? Uh, man, cause the music is here, no, and what I'm trying true. to do, like. I'm so built in here. It's like, it's like if I left, then I would have to start like all the way over. Get mm-hmm. getting yeah. around people, getting new people, getting uh, 
re- recording, having that person learn my process, how I do yeah. shit. So it's like now here I have that, and I just you know want to be appreciated of it. Okay. All that. Yeah, Cause you know they say uh, crazy people in Florida, anyway. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it it wasn't that crazy. I mean, when I well, no, I did see a few crazy. But I was in I was there for like a year before I got here, but I was in Orlando. Mm-hmm. But um. I mean, it's some crazy people out there. Like the people that ask you for change in Florida at the gas stations, they like they mean that shit. Like <laughs> they like you ever you ever had somebody ask you for change like before you walk uh, in, and then they wait for you when you come out too, because you'd be like, I ain't, I ain't got no change. Don't talk then to me. Then they be like, I saw yeah. you at the register. <laughs> don't talk to me about oh, no yeah. homeless people. Don't talk to me about no homeless people. Oh yeah, your, oh, your, your change experience. Yeah. Don't talk man, to me about him. Yeah. Man, look, I was out there. Some dude. I promise you, I, I was like, man, I got. All I got is a 20, bro, and I'm about to put it in my tank. <laughs> <laughs> and I came back out. He was like, yo, I saw you at the register. You got changed? I was like, nah, man. Like, that was wild, dude. Man, my homeless dude, he got he got mad at me because one of the dollar bills are kind of ripped, mm-hmm. but it was still, like, he could use it. But yeah. he got he got mad at me. He's like, can you give me another one? I'm like, I ain't got to give you nothing. <laughs> I got to give you nothing, man. No, that story is funny. Every I was time like, I hear it, dude, like, if you ever ask me for another dollar bill, <laughs> get away from me. You know, you ain't got to give nobody nothing. You might so. have to box. <laughs> you might have to box. <laughs> that was crazy, man. <laughs> man, the craziest story that I have ever heard about Florida is these three dudes ran into a KFC and robbed the KFC, and they didn't rob it for the money. They just wanted chicken. chicken. They just wanted <laughs> as much chicken, like oh, force them to cook all the chicken, and, and that's all they took. They didn't take nothing else. And I was like, damn, yeah. that's the reason why they say this type of shit about us. Yeah. Oh man. Yo, I hope they didn't get all them biscuits in there. You, know, you ain't got nothing to drink, me. Oh, you you might take an L on that one, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. I'm telling you, bro. You ain't got no water or nothing, bro. It's a rat. <laughs> man, I'm telling you. It's a rat. Because you know that dude um, that was sending all them packages to all the Democratic people. He's from Florida, too. Oh, the so, pipe Yeah, he was, I think he's from Florida, but I think he was living in New York, but yeah. Shit's crazy. So yeah, mm-hmm. I always hear something new from Florida every week, though. So yeah, <laughs> you a Jacksonville fan? The Jaguars? the Jaguars, man. No. Are I'm you a sorry. football fan, general? No, man. I don't even like sports. That shit is boring <laughs> as fuck. To me. Respect, respect. <laughs> I like, I like, like fighting. Cause like, I mean. That's interesting. See, I ain't nigga. never heard no niggas say they like <laughs> fighting. Is it number one? Like usually niggas would be like, I like basketball, or like football, or baseball. But niggas said I like fighting. You a violent nigga? Though. Nah, nah. <laughs> it's just more entertaining. <laughs> yeah. Watching yeah. niggas kick shit and throw you balls. Said, <laughs> said man, you catch that Laker game? Nah, but you catch this fighting. <laughs> like you see that? <laughs> you right. you saw that nigga bled after two punches. <laughs> right. Like we don't want to talk to this guy. Like, uh, that's the only reason why I like hockey though. When they fight, but damn. Yeah, <laughs> hockey's super violent too. I, I, but I don't know, man. I could never. I mean, I could get into it, but I think hockey's like baseball to me. Like I can watch it, but I can't watch a full thing. Uh, I, I just lose interest too quick. And just you, nah. you a Mayweather fan? Or? Uh. Yeah, I mean he's a he's a good fighter. I'm like I'm more like a uh, MMA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say that. I like I like to see nigga really go at it. Like <laughs> so and the, and not even that. Oh, not even that. The girls too. Like yeah, they yeah, crazy. Yeah. 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 Yo, I, nah, now that I haven't yeah. seen, I need to I need to I need to check that out. I've never. I don't think I've actually watched. I've seen like clips online, but I don't think I've ever watched like a female. Man, man, I'm gonna have to catch that. It's intense, man. It looks worse than it does. It's like, why are you you supposed to be graceful? Why are you doing her like that? <laughs> hey, so, so tell me like some of your hip hop influences. Man, uh, I'm a big Ti fan. I like yeah. I like a lot of his stuff. He's like a big inspiration of mine. Andre 3000, Lil Wayne, Eminem. Um, one of my one of my like main biggest inspirations like right now i would have to say future okay now okay. i say future because um uh you know a lot of people got a, got shit to say about them not understanding him and him not saying anything or him being fucked up all the time and all that shit but 
I mean, that's that's the world we in right now. And True. he's just an artist just reflecting what he sees. He's just putting out what he sees. Mm-hmm. And I mean, he does it in a way to where if you don't if you don't fully understand it, like that he is deep in on that level. You still like the songs. <laughs> you yeah. still bumping this yeah. shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of people copy his style. That's yeah. why they always talk about a uh, designer sound like uh, Future all the time. Man. Yo, I promise you, when the end of first came out, I was like, I damn, Future, Future got some heat. <laughs> and they was like, nah, bro. It's like, what? Bro, it's sound just when like. I, out, I, was, I thought it was. Yeah, and I was like, yo, yeah, you got Future on here going crazy. And I was like, wait, it's not Future? <laughs> I was like, what? Yo, yeah, I, cause I think, cause I don't think he had a breakout before. Before I think that was designers like rollout, yeah, like that feature was it. <clears throat> yeah, and so before that, I, at least me, I knew nothing of that nigga. So I, I don't know who yeah, that is. And they been yeah. fucked his career up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. They yeah. were they they he didn't he didn't get the rollout he deserved, man. Cause designers really talented, but you know everybody got you know they got upset because they couldn't under like Future they got upset because they couldn't understand blah blah yeah. blah. But he's like, that man got some bars. Like, yeah, you and, go and listen to his stuff. He's got bars. Yeah, he's like, yeah. I thought they were mm-hmm. shelving him because he sounded like Future. They were like, you know, like. <laughs> We got this one song for you. Like, yeah. That's all we got planned. You're on Kanye's album. I could understand that. I mean, I could understand shelfing him if he if he sounds like somebody, but I I don't think he's that limited, bro. I feel like I feel like he could have his own. You know, he could have his own wave if yeah. he got that rollout. You know, and they was like, we need you to switch it up. He'd be yeah. like, okay. Yeah, when he came out with that Timmy Turner where yeah. when he did it on the XXL, mm-hmm. that that shit was. It was different than everyone else. Like everybody else yeah. was either whack as hell or tried to come with like the their best rap, and he just yeah, yeah. Timmy, 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 Timmy. Yeah. Timmy. <laughs> he just <laughs> he just came in there and just like I don't know what them doing, but uh, <laughs> Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. Timmy. <laughs> hey, I feel like, bro, as, as an artist, like if you want, to, you gotta feel that shit. Like yeah. nigga, he could have said anything. You talk about lemonade shit. Niggas would have been like, damn, that shit cold because he feel it. Like, yeah, that would have been insane. Did you did you like? Uh, uh, Wayne, new project? Man, yes. Yes, I did. But I'm a Wayne fan. Yeah. And the I, I, only thing I didn't like is it was so long. That's the same thing I said. It was so long. Same <laughs> yeah. Same thing I said. I feel like, I, I think he felt like he owed everybody that. Like, because yeah. it took, it took what, a long five, time. five years? <clears throat> yeah. I think, yeah. I think he felt like, you know, like I got to, but you could tell like some of that shit was dated. Like it was some of that yeah. stuff he probably did. Hey, the, Mo- the Mona Lisa song though, man, that one was. That one, that one was Goodness, yeah, that shit was hard. Yeah, I when I heard it the first time, I was like, man, I'm not listening to that again. <laughs> That's too much for just a song. But like everybody else loved it, so they yeah. play it all the time, and I just like gotten used to to it and just yeah. sounds like I like the Lamar. that Mona Lisa song. I just like the story behind. Like he told the story yeah. like through the song. Him and Kendra did, but yeah. So you got your uh, new album, Yayo, out. Tell me about that album. Oh, man. Okay. It's not pronounced Yayo. What, what is it called? It's pronounced Yao. Yeah. I, okay. tried to, I tried to get real, real. Uh, oh, damn, how do I say this and not be rude? Asian be rude. cultured. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's an acronym, though, right? Yeah, for um yourself and others. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. So how long, how long was that? Uh, how long did you take to do that album? Man... Um, I immediately I immediately started working on it as soon as I came back from Texas okay. in January, and I I did like a whole bunch of songs, and I was like, yeah, man, these songs are gonna be good for a project, and didn't use any of those, <laughs> and then started doing like a whole bunch of other songs, mm-hmm. and I just was like, all right, these are the ones, these are the ones <laughs> I'm gonna put out, these are the ones I think make the most sense together. <laughs> I think that's like the best ones though. Like I know me, I've only well, I've only done like three projects I think, but I never add the songs that I expect to go on there. Like mm. I make shit like, and I I think of where I want to go, and then I like think of songs, and then I have some fun with some other shit, and I'll be like, I think I like that better. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it and it just vibes, and it and it turns out like a lot of people will probably dig it just because it sounds like you just had fun, you know. So I understand that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I right, so you want to get into one of your songs, the uh, Leave Me Alone, Jamaican Blood? Which one? Which one you um, get to first? We can do 
Jamaican blood first. Yes. Okay. I like that. <laughs> I fuck with Jamaican blood. I before we get into it, tell me a little bit about that song. <clears throat> Man, <clears throat> Jamaican blood is a. Uh, Man, just a venting song, really. <clears throat> Sorry, I got something in my throat. <clears throat> but um, <laughs> it's just a venting song, really. Uh, the whole project's really just a venting song. I was, like, trying to find the best way to connect with people on, on a level. So that song, uh, if you listen to the skit with it, it was more like the the confident side. It, it was just meant to represent confidence. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right, so let's get in. Let's get into it, and we'll be right back on You Can't Sit With Us Radio. Right Got the dreads just to stun on these niggas with Jamaican blood. Niggas ball main down silk shirt lows, and I ain't need a cape or something. Niggas on me right now, I need it right now I owe a couple niggas one to this fuck you I don't owe anyone, what the fuck you know about an Emmy, huh? You a shooter, tell me what a semi does If I'm paying your ass, you on my time Go play with your ass, it's in my ties It's okay, you get best in the highlights I'ma come for you if I ain't satisfied Picture my ass if I sat on mine Spend all this cash, get left behind Nigga, yeah, fucking right Nigga, yeah, fucking right Nigga, I was dumb like so close to hell Nigga, you got what you wanted right out of your system Hell no, your video dropping Welcome back to You Can't Sit With Us Radio. We got DNK on the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like one of those things where they give you like a look and you're like, uh, hey, guys. <laughs> no, I was trying to do like, you know, people carry those little radios around with the little crowd of people oh, screaming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, man, we need to get uh we need to get sound effects. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get oh, the man. uh the sound clips with the <laughs> Get the uh, round of applause. Hey, that was a real smooth ringtone. You got a guitar on him? <laughs> He's not trying to wake up with that alarm. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that would not wake up to that joint. Put me back to, to sleep. <laughs> to a super melodic. Oh, man. Yeah, it's supposed to be smooth, you know, smooth transition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one of those ringers that you don't want niggas to notice. So when it come yeah. on, you just hit the volume down button. So it go off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask my questions this time, man. So, okay, um, so tell me a bit about your your team, like you know what you're a part of. Man, I'm part of Cloud Colony. This is <laughs> something for the works, man. We're a, we're a production agency. We're clothes. We're business. We're talk where non-talk where where everything you can think about on an artistic level um 
uh, one of the people, uh, Don Hamilton Stripes, as he would like to go by. <laughs> Shout out he's Stripes. Uh, he's one of the one of the one of the big thinkers of the group, man. He like you know keeps the keeps the energy hype. And then we got Lucid Chrome, Ethan Ethan Goring. Uh, he's he's the He's the glue, man. They hold yeah. it all together, man. <laughs> and then we got we got um Eli. Uh we got uh Wiz, Jalen Jones, man. That's my that's my guy, man. He's a awesome producer, awesome uh everything. Everything. Uh we got Gal. Well damn nah, I fucked that up. We got Sway Wade. <laughs> um man. We got um we just got a lot of we just got a lot of people who are really good at working together and getting things done that we need to get done yeah. um yeah yeah that's pretty much okay okay cool so how long have y'all been been you know because i know everybody come in at different times so but how long y'all think or did y'all come in at the same time did y'all just was it man like a, it all <laughs> it was kind of always a thing we just put a name on it I guess. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> okay okay so um so, I mean, like, what are y'all, you know, is everybody a rapper or do people do different things? Man, no, nah, no, nah, everybody does everything because everybody has to do everything right now. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, <laughs> um, Ethan, he's our, our Lucid Chrome, he's our uh, main producer uh, our, and uh, audio engineer. He, like, gets our sounds right. Eli, he's another engineer. Uh, I got a uh, Don, he's a rapper, Stripes, man. Man, go check him out. Go check his next project out coming soon. I'm not even gonna give you the name; it's a surprise. <laughs> he's gonna, he's oh man, like, Don't talk man, about and Lucid Chrome. He's 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 a rapper too. You definitely got to go check his project out. Vibrary is out now on iTunes, Spotify, all that stuff. Um, and then man, Sweat Wade. He's a, he's an incredible young dude. Where? Okay. Yeah, yeah, incredible young dude. And then we got Wizard. And he's just he just all around can do everything. I feel yeah. like sometimes he's better than me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you gotta have somebody on the team that can do everything. A wizard, man. Man. <laughs> yeah, like a whole a whole magical powers and everything. That's <laughs> I mean, but I think every team needs that. Every team needs their that one person that can do everything. Yeah, you know. So I mean, I I think that's dope. Um, I was reading, I was reading your bio, and I know that you said you you don't really, um mess with like the new wave as much so can you kind of go into that a little bit um well i don't like listening to stuff that ain't getting nowhere doesn't make sense or doesn't really make me feel anything because that's why i listen to the music or really to try to connect with something or get out of my head or just to enjoy it and you know on a on a party level that 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 Talking about nothing, shit sounds good. Like, yeah, I can I can get through it because we're we're partying, we're turning right. up. I'm more involved with the beat. Yeah. But when I'm just chilling, riding in my car, <clears throat> I don't need to know every third line that you you got a bezel on your wrist or right. that that you're ready to shoot me. Yeah. I understand that, but I think I got that. <laughs> you're ready to shoot. Me. <laughs> I wouldn't feel comfortable. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I'm trying to. We like, yeah, yeah, and I'll pop you in your face. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> brought this guy i thought he was chilling dog <laughs> okay so so you know let's say all right you you just getting your whip you know you about to make a drive or whatever who you gonna turn on first man i'm gonna bump gunner gunner yeah man okay okay see now because you bro you be you be throwing okay so gunner i would consider gunner a part of the new way yeah so <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> I have I had to like put this put this together. Okay, so yeah, Gunna Gunna is insane, bro. Now I'm just gonna ask you a personal question because okay. it's something that I've just personally thought about. So we all heard Gunna on the uh on the Travis album. Mm-hmm. Travis album. That was I think that's where Gunna blew up. I think that's where I could be wrong, but I think that's where everybody really knows who Gunna was. Yeah. So have you heard a better Gunna feature since that album? Because right. me personally, I don't think Gunna has, nobody has given him a more perfect feature than Travis has. I don't think. Me personally. And have you heard that new Metro Boomin? I did hear them. And <laughs> I probably shouldn't talk on that because I wasn't, 
I wasn't impressed by the Metro. Oh. I, okay. It, it, hey, that's who cool. Y'all can hate me. That's fine. But I'm, I'm the guy that's going to go there. I felt like, I felt like Metro just said, it's been a while. I'm going to just grab all my niggas and we're going to make an album. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I think because, how can I put this? I guess I guess I just expected more, and I think that's the kind of thing that I do. I like I go in with high expectations, and I think I I, I don't know. It just wasn't enough. Now twenty one twenty one got off on that album. I think every feature that twenty one had. I like twenty one Savage a lot, man. I like <laughs> twenty one has been killing features this year, yeah. in my opinion. Like if you go back and listen to anything, that's. But his his album, I don't know how it's gonna turn out because you know you got like certain artists that are just like feature. Guys, yeah. you know they do Big well Sean. on features. Yes, Big Sean. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't really okay. like. I don't really Metro, like Big Sean. Man. Metro and Big Sean. Did y'all like that project? Oh, no, man. it sucked. Okay, <laughs> all right. I, I, I fucked with. I, I didn't like. I like it. Wow. I liked a lot of it, but it wasn't I like. With it. Now, I, I thought like that shit was boo boo. Like I, I wasn't. I, I like I the very first it. song. I like the very first song on the Big Sean. I didn't like Metro it. Boomin, you didn't but like I didn't it. like that. I album. didn't like it. Jake. I just I get bored with Big Sean and people like J Cole. Like they're they're rapping as dudes, yeah. but but it's boring, man. I can't I can't stay into it, man. People, man, people tell me they get bored with Cole. I, I I mean I I never felt it, but I mean I, I can understand you know where we come from. It's just like and you got a nigga barring you to death. Yeah, well, I just think he's so talented that it's like, dude, like, I need you to impress me again. It's not even that. It's not even that. It's that the level of, like, I don't want to, I be going through shit, you feel me? Yeah. yeah. I don't want to go listen to music where more shit is happening, bro. That's just going to stress me out more. Like you late on your rent and another nigga telling you they late too. Like, we in the same boat. But yeah, that's the thing, though. Like, you got... All type of music for everybody. You got Migos for a club, and mm-hmm. you got J. Cole. For, I mean, so you got, like, everybody. That's why it's, just, it's so much music to listen to. So it's not just, like, you got to listen to one it's, thing. It's yeah. been so much music to just come out lately that yeah. I, I think I felt a little overwhelmed at one point. Like, just yesterday, literally, I think, I want to say maybe eight to ten projects dropped yesterday. Damn. You had, you had Takeoff, Action Brunson. Metro, um, he the best Migos member too. You you okay? Yeah. How did y'all feel about that? Did y'all listen to that album? The the new takeout? Yeah. No, mm, you did. Okay, yeah. how'd you feel about it? Man, I I liked it a lot, but it man, I don't know. It felt forced, like he was <coughs> like trying to make a name for himself mm-hmm. amongst these two stars he finds mm-hmm. himself next to. Yeah. And okay. People aren't, like, just just the heads up for the listeners, my, my man's DK bought the, bought the team with him, so if y'all hear the voices, it's other people here too, of course. <laughs> voices but, in your head. Yeah. We, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got Lucy Chrome and Stripes <laughs> in the building, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. We got to get more mics. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, I mean, uh, the, the takeoff junk, it was, I think I expect them to have different sounds when they're not together, but then <clears throat> they're not together and they sound the same. I me. like, I like Quavo, man. I like, I, now see, I keep, <laughs> I keep putting myself in this box where I'm like, man, I don't fuck with the new age stuff, but I told you, I keep, you, I keep, you I keep, I keep no, but nigga, this, that ain't you. But this is, this is <laughs> the thing, this you. is the thing back then, back then, I feel like it was so much easier for me to connect with the music back then. Cause, yeah. cause everybody was, was on a soul touching level. Young, young Jeezy, mm-hmm. T.I., mm-hmm. I like, I like all of them were like, like, <clears throat> Was we're, we're hitting topics and we're talking about other shit and we're trying to branch mm-hmm. out and talk about other shit. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's the point I don't even listen to rap no more. Really, to okay. be real, I listen to shit like Glass Animals, Tori Moy, fucking yeah, fucking, like alternative <laughs> type shit. Yeah, okay. like I can't even listen to rap no more because I'm just bored with it. I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of hearing about your jewelry and your drugs, man. Yeah. I, I I I I do I do drugs. I know what that shit feel like. <laughs> like. <laughs> We're gonna put on the record that if Future drops a project tomorrow, he would listen to it. Yes, I would. I would definitely. Listen. <laughs> he's he's somewhat in the new way. <laughs> okay, man. I'm, I mean, I, I guess that's that's though. I just like to like to get people's people's inputs on like the new stuff. Yeah. Um. I checked so, out uh, 
But I did check out Vince Staples' album too, though. Vince Staples' yeah. album. Yeah, Vince you was like funny it? because he had the big boy impersonation. Yeah. And I was dead the whole <laughs> album. Like I was into this rap. Really big boy. I oh, got a yeah. So the DJ he, from Cali, yeah, it's big boy. Yeah. Yo, yeah, okay. Okay. Hey, we that. gotta edit that part yeah. out yeah. so they don't know. Yeah. We gotta edit that part out so they don't know. I didn't know yeah. that. That's like you, designer in future. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> who else was on there? He took. Uh, he took. He told Tiger. I guarantee. Yeah, Tiger. What fucking, he said was, "Yo, Tiger, I want you to feature on my album. Like, I, I really want. How much you gonna cost?" Didn't credit him and made it a skit on a radio show. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> he said didn't credit him. Man, <laughs> what well, wasn't his name? I mean, his name was at least in the track. I think it was called like Tiger's something. Yeah, but there, yeah. yeah, but there's like no like feature. Like it's like, like you, know, artists, yeah. you can tell when an artist paid for a feature because it's like nobody's yeah. name was on that. That's album. that's some yay shit. Like I I don't I don't know how I would feel about being on the Yay project <clears throat> these days because Yay don't give niggas feature credits at all. Damn. That whole life of Pablo came out. I didn't see one feature, one. Well, I didn't even know Kid Cudi was on that one song. Man. You don't know it until <laughs> you hear it. And it's but I hear. but I feel like well I feel like once you at a certain level because I feel like features are just kind of those things that you put on there to excite other people that make them want to listen to it because they're like ah man this is new you know this is this new designer project but he got yay on it so I'm listening to that shit. But once you like at a yay level, it doesn't like, really matter I don't care who you got on the album because it's yay. I'm gonna listen to that John out of the way, you know. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I I guess of course you know royalties and all that stuff plays into it and getting your credit. But I feel like once you at a certain <clears> point, <throat> niggas just don't care about you. I mean, so, but at the same time, on at a level, you gotta be able to humble yourself. You gotta be able to yeah. take the time and recognize another artist for being especially if you took the time to work with that other artist definitely definitely mm -hmm. i mean that you know that wouldn't be me you know i, I throw names on my feature whatever you know? <laughs> at I'm least with my name on yeah, it yeah you know i'm gonna put your name on up we're gonna perform that joint time. but yeah i mean you know when you get to that level you just don't really mm -hmm. care about them features yeah i mean um tell me i always ask every artist this like like when you get writer's block how do you get through it man <clears throat> I I uh I kind of am a talker. I don't really run out of shit to talk about. So as long as I can rhyme, I can. <laughs> Do you ever have a moment where you can't rhyme? Um, when I'm nervous. <laughs> I used to cheat and just call it a poem. Oh, for real? Yeah, you don't gotta rhyme poems. Oh, I feel that. I got some spoken word for y'all. <laughs> yeah, when I know when yeah. I know I'm nervous, I want I want it to be a cappella, and I'm just gonna. And usually, I just start off with a full few bullshit lines, and then mm -hmm. it started to start going hard. I'm like, yeah, yeah, all right, let's run. This. <laughs> what's like your What's like your process in creating a song? Man, I know it might be different a lot of the times, but I start with the beat. I I I usually make my own. Mm -hmm. Or I'll get one of these guys to make it. <laughs> I start with the beat, and um, uh, man, we'll just go through a few beats before I even get to working on it. Yeah, because I really just try to find something that sort of stands out, or really just shows that hey, that sounds like something Kia would make, or sounds like something DNK mm -hmm. would make. I'm like, all right, cool. Okay. I've seen him take five different samples and make five different beats that all sound the same. <laughs> <laughs> like trying to find certain sounds. I swear. You got that vision. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's wild. Yeah. It's wild. Yeah, I can understand that. You like, you want to be uh, signed or you like being independent? Mm. I like working together, so I don't mind signing to okay. someone. But um, like I said, I like working together. So if we're not okay. working together, then no, nah, it's not okay. really a thing. <laughs> okay. Um, and you got any other ventures you want to get into besides music? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, so my girl, she's a she's a model. So, uh, I'm trying to really get get into like the fashion side of okay. things and like uh, um, well my team, we we make clothes by the way. <laughs> Cloud Colony Co. Hey, I should decide. Mike, <laughs> we make clothes, B. <laughs> come That's get true. those got, got, <laughs> everything got, cloud colony come see us we got you we got sweaters we got shirts we got socks and panties coming soon <laughs> oh, wait wait hold on no we gotta pause bro how many niggas consider making panties not a lot CBD vape juice 
But I would, but I would wow. expect that. I, well, I wouldn't expect it, but that's more common. You know, when niggas make clothes lines, when guys make clothing lines, they don't really. You know, it's not really like ah, uh, maybe I should. I mean, you get the women like a sweatshirt or something. Yeah. But it ain't no that's, fun that's if the women small. can't have none. Yeah, because if girls wear it, then guys. Well, wear yeah, it. That's, that's, that's that's true. that's how you sell anything. Yeah. You know, you gotta have the women to support that. Just so that's, that's super true. smart. Yeah, yeah definitely. You yeah. see some of the uh, stuff out here at yeah. the studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If you ever you need a place to showcase, yeah, okay. I can hook you up. Okay, hell yeah, hell yeah, appreciate that. So yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. They just they just yeah. give them that free promo. Right? Yeah. <laughs> they just did the. Can we can we can we get those? Probably. I don't know. I have to talk to the dude. But okay, yeah, they okay. just did the grand opening here like last probably about a couple weeks ago. So oh, yeah, this yeah, is like this brand new over here. So okay, hell yeah, yeah. Yeah, they've been. It's a lot of stuff. They got like five other different rooms. They got like a downstairs. They're trying to do like a a writing. Room. It's like it's like yeah, you can rent it out. It's it's cool though. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Well, yeah, we'll have to definitely talk about that. After yeah, this. <laughs> <laughs> I got my connects. I'm good. Yeah. Hell yeah. I right, um, let's get into your next song. Uh, Leave me alone. Mm-hmm. Tell me about that song. Man, leave me alone is a song. I wanna I wanna tell y'all everything I can about this song. I really love this song. Mm-hmm. I put a lot of heart and soul into this. Uh, the sample is by uh, is it's a grime song called uh, Oblivion, and uh. It's like, like some European girl. She's like freaking okay. cool. If you ever get the chance, <laughs> definitely listen to that song. But um, but um, yeah, I took the I took the the piece from that. And uh, by the way, um, for this is for uh, Grimes. If you sue me, oh, can we talk about it first? <laughs> I was just gonna ask that. Did you pay for yeah. it? can we talk about it first? <laughs> I mean, you gave you gave a shout out to the personality. For oh me. yeah, because like, 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 I definitely, like I said, man, everybody deserves their credit, and these people yeah. make really good music, and they inspired me to yeah. do what I did with yeah. it. So, but um, yeah, it's a the it's a, it's a grime song, and I pulled the piece out, and I had the track for like, <clears throat> like, I'm gonna say like two three weeks, and I didn't I couldn't figure out what to do with it, yeah. and then I accidentally put it in reverse like doing something and it, it was like whoa <laughs> it all came together and then i brought it over to lucid chrome and man he helped me put the finishing touches on it and man yeah just like the beat is what i'm most excited about but the song like yeah it just all came together like smoothly, smoothly. okay cool so, sound like it was accidental the best heat yeah. is accidental. He said he said reverse too, so yeah, I was like, okay. Yeah, that's yeah. the best heat is accidental heat. <laughs> you don't mean yeah. to do that shit. He's like, oh, no. Yeah, that was I was I was so I'm <laughs> selling you. Yeah, that'd be the best stuff. <laughs> Alright, so let's get into uh, Leave Me Alone. We'll be right back for you can't see with us radio. Firefly. Euphoria, story of my lows. Living in Gloria, smelling everyone I know. Never been short of nothing. Wasn't my focus on concentrated pure gold. In an instant, I get attitude from the hoes. Not enough gratitude from the show. Fuck them. Beast I eat, I sleep in the street lights. I don't need lights. Let my beam drive. And I see it like it don't got a pause button. Snatch that away, cause them hoes coming. If I'm in that bitch and they all coming. If you feel away, better call someone. He died from flapping his jaws. Just should have listened when mom told him. My girl is the reason for all of it. And she only here to spend y'all money. I promise that I'ma spend time with him. Hold up, babe, I got a call coming. Replace that with Julie and fine looking. But baby, them diamonds ain't dying with you. High as my Zion, the preacher stone. When you gon' learn to eat your zone? When you gon' learn to leave me alone? 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 Yo. Stay on boy, I struggle with greatness I really can't go with that fake shit Really, you niggas faking, so How do I Fuck with you when you went down for me I got this stack to the cloud money Bitch come around trying to count something, but How do I Let go of the dirt that they did to me All of this I did put into me Niggas was never a friend to me, so Maybe I, I, I just I don't want blood and forgot about you I probably never forgot about you, nigga I pull a phone and forgot about you, nigga Yo, what's up with this? You forgot about us, nigga Losing blue, I don't know nobody That money gave me amnesia, I'm 
Slid in my feet with dizzy, come on all the blind and you niggas and bro made me sick to my stomach Niggas be bitches, I know they don't want it This is a hit, got a hit on my tongue And my diamonds be here like I was on Sunday, nigga he died from flapping his jaws. Just should have listened when mom told him. My girl is the reason for all of it. And she only here to spend y'all money. I promise that I'ma spend time with her. Hold up, babe, I got a call coming. Replace that with jewelry and fine looking. But baby, them diamonds ain't dying with you. How is my Zion the preacher stone? When you gon' learn to each his own? When you gon' learn to leave me alone? When you gon' learn to leave me alone? When you gon' learn to leave me alone? When you gon' learn Flapping his jaws, just should have listened when mom told him. My girl is the reason for all of it. Yeah. Hold up, babe, I got a call coming. Babe, I got a call. Them diamonds ain't dying with you. How is my Zion the preacher stone? When you gonna learn to eat your zone? When you gonna learn to leave me alone? 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 Yeah. Hey, welcome back to You Can't Sit With Us Radio. Hey, so DNK, I got random ass questions for you. Okay. So these questions have nothing to do with nothing. It's just something I come up in my head or I just find on the internet. Hey, okay. these questions yeah. scare the hell out of me. So okay. Be careful. <laughs> he asking weird ass questions. <laughs> All right, so why doesn't Tarzan have a beard? <sighs> <laughs> 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 yeah, I told you. I told you that shit is weird as hell. I can answer oh, this shit. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because he has a disease where he can't grow hair on his face. Mm. <laughs> mm. Okay, I can go with that. Gorillas don't have hair on their He's been around people that were so hairy all his life. He, just, he said, that won't be me. <laughs> <laughs> I won't make the same mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, if you choke out a Smurf, what color does it turn? Oh shit, dude! Where you come up with this shit? <laughs> Told you. I'm happy it's not me. I would assume purple. Okay. I feel like that's what I see when I choke. Because they're already blue, so they can't turn blue already. So you gotta do another color. Just go dark. <laughs> All right. What's your What's your biggest fear? Man. Mm. Damn. <laughs> Having thinking I have it all and it be fake the whole time. Okay. <laughs> you got one. My big bro. Yeah. Uh my biggest fear. Um I'm going. I'm gonna go with bar- getting buried alive. Oh damn! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm a fearful ass nigga, so I have a lot of fucking fears. Okay, hold on, hold on. But then we talk about that being crushed to death slowly. Like <laughs> that would fuck me up. <laughs> I think my fear is being stuck in a Ferris wheel at the top. Yeah, I don't. That's one of them. I I don't. I already don't fuck with Ferris wheels and heights and all that shit. Nah. Oh, yeah. So to be in a Ferris wheel up top. Oh, uh, nah, bro. Nah. <laughs> Y'all gotta come like, me. It's like Final Destination type yeah. shit. Yeah, I'll be up there throwing up and shit. <laughs> like, sick. All right, favorite Taylor Swift song? Uh, look what you made me do. Look what you made me <laughs> Look what you just made me do. <laughs> I love this song. I'm gonna play that at the wedding I'm DJ tonight. <laughs> you are? Yeah, you I'm, sure? I'm gonna play it at the wedding. I'm gonna be like, I gotta, sure. I, I, I gotta request my man DK. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why why don't that why don't they make food steps edible? What? <laughs> yeah, you, hey, hey, his team had to think about that. Like, uh, <laughs> um, what? <laughs> I told you they random, man. Can we can we be like like Family Feud and pass? <laughs> <laughs> I I got I got another for you. If you could meet anybody in in history, who could it be? Mm. Dead or alive, no matter. My daddy. No, I'm just. Playing. <laughs> 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 um, man, if I can meet anybody in history and just hang out with them for a few hours, man, just to fuck me up, let it be Einstein. <laughs> okay, that'd be too much for me. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was like, bro, I didn't need to know that. <laughs> like, I feel like he would tell you all the stuff you don't want to know about the world. Like, life. like I, I feel like, you know, like they say, sometimes it's good to not know. Yeah. I feel like he would ruin it. Plot twist, he wouldn't say shit to you. He Damn. Like, <laughs> I'd be like, bro, what are you thinking? <laughs> yeah. No, see, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even want to really talk to him. I would just be <clears> one to, like, do shit. I'm sure he can really, like. Would you smoke with our son? Oh, yeah. He would smoke with me. I'm sure he was smoking the whole time. Yo, <laughs> yo, that that'd be some insane. He probably come up with some new shit if he smoked. I wonder if he smoked back in the day. Mm, I bet he I'm did. Sure. I'm sure. Of it. I I know he did. Hey. Ain't no man, grown man, walking around with his hair like that, taking pictures like that, and not be high, <laughs> Get bro. Get out. Yeah, that'd be. Yeah, I want. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I have a. Uh, I have a random ass question. Um, <clears throat> if you went to buy a pair of shoes and you only got one shoe, what foot would it be? For what foot? Yeah. Like, it's like, damn, I can't return this. So what am I going to do? What shoe would you rather have? What, what foot would you rather have it on? Man. <laughs> See, because you got to think when you take pictures, you know, you got some nice ass shoes. You ain't going to just waste them. So you take some pictures on your right side, or your left side. Okay, you know, they ain't got to see um, both feet. <laughs> what foot? Man, my big toe on my left foot is going through a thing right now. So I, <laughs> I have to get a shoe for that one, man. <laughs> Just imagine a nigga coming up like, no, nah, I got to put a shoe on this foot. Man. My toe is fucked. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Y'all would die. I would die. <laughs> I, I only got one question this time. I think I, I can't. I can't think of another. I got. I got two more. Right. The flow is hot lava right now. Okay. How screwed are you right now? I'm fucked up right. <laughs> My feet are gone. I'm. <laughs> I'm very sad right now. <laughs> At least you got that one extra shoe. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and what was the last CD you bought? Mm. Usually, I think it was a. I think I can literally tell you right now. Um, Dang. Well, what about physical? Uh, physically too, though. Oh man, I ain't bought. I've never bought a physical. <laughs> Are you CD never bought one? Okay. Never. <laughs> <laughs> I've been digital age since it's been digital. But uh, <laughs> the last CD I bought was Life Jitties. Oh. The old Life Jitties. The the uh, okay. the one where the he very, had the jail number the, on the it. Very, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that joint was he. That joint was he. <laughs> I think the last album I bought was Jay. Yeah, it was J. Cole's first album. Silence. Okay. I bought that album. And I think that was it. Damn. I think I got Apple Music. Like like, like physical copy? Yeah, yeah. I literally wow. have that. It's got a crack in the case, but oh, I had that, it at the house. Damn. Yeah. 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 And yeah, then the last I one put I bought on Apple was, uh, Music like I'll never need this again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I like I I'll go through like like have y'all been to McKay's before? Uh-uh. Yeah, like I'll go in McKay's and just sit there and like it's it's just insane to me like that we still mm-hmm. have that stuff. Like I I probably give it maybe another five or ten years. Not even that, man. You know, I give it like I give it like I give it like till the summer of next year. <laughs> man, damn near. Yeah, so, you got a point. The last one. Have anything to play CDs on? Yeah. Yeah. My car still got one. Like, how would you feel if you ride, you know, like people ask for the article, they be like, yo, let me get the CD slot. <laughs> what? <laughs> yo, I got this hot, got this mix that was made last year. Like, 16 man. tracks of heat. Someone's trying to hand you a mixtape. Yeah. <laughs> you got anxious, you're like, bro, I can't even. Man. I'm going to play this, man. Man, I was at Walmart the other day. Somebody sold me, tried to sell me a CD. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm hey, you, you stuck in the past. You try to sell me CDs. I'm saying and then it was gonna go to Walmart, cause... buy a bunch of little flash drives. Yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You would have a better chance of doing that, you yeah. know, than, than giving me a physical CD. You sell it for seven dollars. I'm like, I ain't got no dollar bills. I'm gonna scratch, it. I'm a scratch your shit the moment yeah, I walk out. You know, yeah. I'm gonna drop something. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna scratch your CD like, the what? moment I walk out. If something's gonna happen, it's gonna get scratched. I'm like, man, you gonna see me like two weeks later. I'm like, bro, I can't even listen to it. I'm sorry. It's gonna be. Yeah, man, Joe, you need to clean your CDs. Then you start blaming it on him. You need to clean your CDs, bro. Joe was skipping on track three. All right, man. Dean, I appreciate you being on the show, man. I appreciate man. it. Um, before we get into your freestyle stuff, you want you got any final words? Shout out your social media, anything? Man, 
DNK 2.0, man, go check out y'all, man. It's real deep, man. It's for everybody that is anybody, man. And if you're nobody, it's even more for you. So <laughs> definitely go listen to that. Um, definitely check out a uh, vibe library, man. That's it's a good project, man. It's a really good project, and definitely be looking forward to stripes, man. I'm always looking forward to stripes. So. And and man, wizard. Definitely be looking out for him. He's I'm I'm the most excited for Wizard because of what y'all said. Y'all said this man is really a wizard. I'm <laughs> super excited. <laughs> super excited. Magic powers, man. <laughs> Orbs and everything. <laughs> so here's the size, y'all, in the next mixtape. IQ, you got any final words? We'll go. Um, I got to do a wedding tonight from 2 to 10. I think this is my first, like, eight-hour wedding, so pray for me. Well, by the time they hear this, it's going to yeah. be long over. But I should still be alive by then. <laughs> but that's it. Okay. But what kind of way you got? Like, is white people, black people? Man, dog, you you can't make it racial, bro. I'm just saying, because yeah, what type of music you going to play? Nah, it's, it, is a, it is a wedding. You say you're going to play a Taylor Swift song, so I'm like. Hey, black people can like Taylor. You ask him about Taylor Swift. <laughs> Hey, you know that one song, uh, uh, what's it called? <laughs> 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I die, uh, man, nah, see, I thought that was Taylor Yo. Swift. That's not Taylor Swift, though. Mm. That blew my mind. I was like, man, Taylor Swift must have wrote it or something. It's like, it's a designer future shit. <laughs> 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 know who she is. No, it's a uh, to answer your question though. It's it's a really I'm actually kind of hyped to do this one though because it's like a barbecue oh, and man. I get to see I made it racial too, but I get to see if white people can really barbecue today. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna be out there. I'm they got some ribs, whatever. I'm gonna test everything. Okay, yeah. So yeah, it's, oh, yeah, it should be pretty snazzy. I'm definitely on the no pork movement. Man. I'm <laughs> yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm definitely on that too, but I'm I'm here to 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 try the white people ribs. <laughs> just, 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 just one good time. Makes the best I've ever had. Hey, yo, yo. <laughs> he, he he just might, but it's usually like the white people that say that they can make it is usually not that good. But then like when they don't say anything, yeah, it just it just blows your heart. Yeah, yeah and, they, <laughs> and they just look at, like I just I just threw it on there for a little bit, you know. <laughs> I do this every day. What you yeah, mean? like yeah, I just I had to soak it. Like how you soak ribs, bro? How <laughs> you do that, man? Yeah. I remember. Yeah, I appreciate you've been on the show again. Uh, as always, follow me at Ambitious One K on Instagram and my threshold Brace Production Group on Instagram. And man, we're gonna come back. We're gonna let DNK spill a freestyle. But until next time, man, one love and we out. We not out yet. Cause I didn't get to put my social media tag. Go then, bro. You try. I told play you. Me. I told you. Yeah, you find the words. No, man, That's hey, what find the words is. Oh dang! I guess that. Yeah, I just. <laughs> That's I just what I was that saying. Jack just his whole thing. Yeah, yeah. It ain't. It ain't over. It ain't over. <laughs> yet. Find it the ain't words over. Is. Follow we me ain't on never Instagram. Gonna finish. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram at book Q the DJ B O O K Q U E T H E D J. And now we out. Hey man, don't chop my intro off too. <laughs> if I get that final joint on my intro. Yeah, for the first time ever, an exclusive freestyle by the one and only DK on You Can't Sit With Us Radio. Man. Let go. Once in a lifetime type opportunity. Uh, yeah. Back, I got a check, check my checklist Yeah, they want the best, so I had to bring the best in uh, I'm not trying to count up for nothing I always been bouncing for something I always been vibing, I don't need a license to drive I got it, it's coming Just think about this, I don't think about shit But me keeping a hundred Yeah, I just wanna rap, I'm not looking back I cannot collab with niggas who trash I try to be popping, I ain't got an option I already got it yeah. I can't pick up the phone unless it's dough on that I need some more on that Ain't holding back, I never did I been this big, benefits I get them in And I do it for my kids and my girl 
That's my real. She just heard it. Diamonds and pearls. Uh. And I give a hell like all the time. Bottles of wine. I just can't slime. I keep it inside like why? I don't even try. I won't comply. Cause fuck the law. If you hate me, fuck you all. Like, I'm getting it all. Like, I'm getting them all. Hype. Yeah. I'd rather rap, I'd rather go and sit back I'd rather chill with the past I'd rather do what I did with my dad If I ever had one, a black one A black hole in my heart I'm playing my card, I took it that far My nigga is shot Yo Yo Yo